Good morning. We've already, we've already had a pretty busy day. Mr. Daniel had his doctor's appointment this morning. So we are back from that. And then I went out grocery shopping because, well, it's Thursday and it's a great day to go grocery shopping. So that's where I've wandered off to this morning. But the girls are helping paint. And if you guys have never done um, non-electronic uh, activities for kids like painting it is a great activity for them there's so many things you can do with it let me show you so here they are Lydia and Lillian painting away it's just some water but you can have fun cleaning the deck or you can do your oh you can do ABC's you can do your shapes you can do so many things and then it just evaporates away and you can do it all over again it is such a struggle to not use the electronics as a crutch or as a babysitter because they're they just so easy and they're like so convenient. It. But we really don't want the kids on the electronics all the time. It's just not good for them. That's not, a, you know, they're not experiencing real life. So I've been trying this summer to find other ways that we can just not use the electronics but still learn and have fun outside. It's beautiful weather and this is just one of the ways that I came up with doing it. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys what you do to keep your kids off the electronics in the summertime. Well, all year round, but particularly in the summertime because I would love some fresh ideas on things to do. Um, the comments are still not enabled for this channel uh, for whatever reason, but we do have the community tab on our YouTube channel. So just if you wanna go over there, there should be a video, um, a post that has this name of this video and the date and you can go ahead and comment over there but i have to go put my food away here because i just did a video on it for my uh, vip my 31 vip group and now i've got to put it away and i'm going to let mr daniel hang out in this beautiful mwah, outside air on the deck what do you think mr daniel huh you a happy boy see i'm trying to be happy <laughs> Daniel can paint right now. Can you show them? Yeah. Daniel, look at all that. Look what I did. Are you making a smiley face? Yep. And I made a flower too. <laughs> all these had some great deals today. The plums here. Plums and nectarines were 99 cents a pound. I only got the plums because the kids aren't so keen on the nectarines. And then the strawberries were $1.49 a pound. The cherries were $1.69 a pound. And let's see, everything else. We actually are going to do a uh, church luncheon. So I had to pick up some things for a jello salad. So that's the rest of that in there. Well, not the hot dogs, of course. You wouldn't put hot dogs in a jello salad. Can you guess what that shape is? If you answered butterfly, you were correct. We have a hummingbird at our feeder. Oh, there he is. We're headed to a sale down the street and we're going to see what we can find. And this is one of the best sales that we ever go to. There's the toaster oven department and sewing machine department. Lots of sewing machines to choose from. Did you find anything good yet? Party boys. Party boys? One that we don't have? Oh yeah, I don't think we have that one. No, I didn't think we did. So. And okay. there was two Nancy drinks. I found okay. it. I found it. Well, they had, they had a box of light bulbs, and I went to ask how much it was, and the guy looked at it and said, it's not for sale. Oh, going upstairs. Oh, yeah. The thing is in there, and... We got some bouncy balls. Yes, we're trying to shrink this one so that it's uh, not as big as it is. We can fit through the crowd. Mm-hmm. Janelle's popped a few weeks ago, so we found her a couple of balls. Yes, we did. 
Do you need more shoes? Uh, well, Charity and I do. Uh, these shoes here. <laughs> so. Are those the exact same? They're the exact same. <gasps> Yay! Yeah, I, I am so excited. My bones are we found a whole bunch of t-shirts and mine are about dead, so we're gonna get those. Look at that, they got a pump organ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Christmas department. Oh wow, look at those fishing poles. This is like the biggest fishing pole I've ever seen. That's yeah, huge, it's like a deep sea fishing pole or something. What, what is this, Dad? It's a double barrel pogo stick. No, I don't know what it is. What is this thing? What is it? Where's the holes? Uh, you put, I see you put water in there and then it looks like it squirts out there. So they just do that. Oh. That's oh it puts water into the ground? No, it squirts water out there. And it puts water into the ground. Oh, okay. It's a hydrator below the ground. That's interesting. I've never seen one of those. The kids, do you think we need one of those? Yeah. For Daniel? Yeah. What, you think, yes? Yeah. Uh -huh. Janelle, Charity, Lydia, and Daniel are home. I headed home early with some kids because uh, some kids needed to go potty. Shoes, $2, Asics. Okay. So, my shoes, I told you I had needed new shoes. So, can't beat the price. Right. Far better. Well, that'll be a wash because I'll chuck a pair. And then, we got your t-shirts. Those are okay. 50 cents a piece. And I got a shirt for church for the fall. Oh, thank you! A new ball! Yay! Yay! Let's hope this doesn't meet the demise. I don't think our viewers know the story of the ball. Did you tell them? I did not. Oh, it may, I think I told them a little bit. It's got the comfort, and it has these two. Yay. These you can put them in. It's brand new! I can't it's wait! It's brand spanking new! So, the ball has seen many children, and lots of love. And the other day, Lillian hopped on it and she was bouncing on it like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the next thing we know, Art and I were talking and all of a sudden Lillian went, whoop. And we're like, where'd the ball go? We just thought it rolled under the table. And I'm looking and Art's looking. <laughs> Apparently in pop. And she just went, whoop. She wasn't hurt. I mean, it's not a long fall. But Art held the ball up and he's like, I guess that's the end of the ball. So, I was a little, I have to say, there was a few tears, because that had seen three babies come into this world, and so, Daniel still likes his ball, sitting on his ball, bouncing on it. 75. And I hadn't gotten a chance to go and order one, so we now have, how much were they? Uh, the new one in the box was $2, and the other one was $1. What a, what a steal! Yeah, for $3, we got two balls, so if one pops, we get another one. I don't know if it says on the outside. See. I don't think we ever. It's decided. the same size as your one that popped. This is 75 cm. Yeah. No, I think that's a little I bit littler. So I think that's 65 We have a new CM. ball. You know, we have a love hate relationship with a ball because the ball takes up so much room. But it has been between pregnancy, and birth, and then afterwards, our kids love to bounce on Peter is so helpful holding Daniel, sitting on it and balancing him. He's so happy that way. So, this is this is, this is good. Good eyes are. It was one dog. I found this one, Mommy. You found that one? You must and have had I your little ball eyes all tuned for looking for and 